leg locks, let's say heel hooks and straight foot locks just for right now. We have open circuit and closed circuit. It's um, basically one is my legs are crossed around my opponent's hips and the other one, my legs are not crossed. That's all it is. And they both work. They have different advantages. So Thor, come to your foot. An advantage of a closed circuit would be 50-50, right? My legs are crossed around his hip. He can't roll out that easy. We're closer, but I can't pass as much. I can't stand up. You know, I don't have as many options to change position as I did before. For instance, like right here. Like right here, it's open circuit, right? I can let go and pass. I can, I can stand up. He can maybe escape easier, okay? But I can jump in those positions, okay? The open circuit is something that I suggest most of you, even if you consider yourself advanced, or especially if you think you're advanced, don't, don't try to, in my opinion, don't try to imagine yourself as becoming a foot lock specialist. And if you think you're a foot lock specialist, if your opponents know that, they're gonna hide their feet from you. And if you don't know how to pass the guard, it's not gonna be, you know, you're not gonna have too much success. So it's good to have your, whole, your overall game. You know, I've won Abu Dhabi matches off arm locks by the back, I've got guillotines, I've got triangles, and I've won a lot by leg locks, just because a few things I was doing at the time, no one really knew how to stop these things. And some of these uh, are the best people in history I've faced. I'm, I'm very honored to, to say it, to mention that. So open circuit, closed circuit are both very effective, and we want to learn both of those. But I suggest to start close start open circuit, so we can jump in, jump out, combine our guard passing, combine the back takes, combine mounting, and combine all kinds of other attacks. You're not as much into the risky area, and you have more options.